New and exciting for Kingfisher is our new Dawa Pro Rex soft plastics. They have now arrived, and what makes them unique is simply the durability of them, the softness, and also the movement that the the tail, the duck foot tail, actually gives to it. You can pull these soft plastics fast and slowly, and they do not turn over. One of the new and exciting features is the UV. Now when people talk about the UV, it's the light index that comes through the water that fish actually see at. So if I had to take, for instance, a UV light and start shining on them, look how the colors now actually start coming out. Look at that chartreuse color. It is so bright. Fire Tiger, definitely by far one of our better sellers. This can be used in fresh water as well as in salt water. We've got the AU Ghost. We have got our Shared Grow Ghost Orange, which as you can see is phenomenal. My favorite. Look at that for a color. That is absolutely phenomenal. Very subtle, excellent for clean water. And look how that green spot comes through the fish. Target areas for fish to actually hone in on. If you look at this, look at that. Guys, that is absolutely phenomenal. If you know the Mazeppa Killer, which used to be our favorite seller, this is now gonna take over from it, I promise you guys. Look at this for a chartreuse color. Look at that. That is absolutely phenomenal. There we go, guys. There's the secret, it's out there. The fact that they are so soft and supple means that the fish will actually hold on to them a lot longer and you get a better hook set. I'll show you now how to rig them. I'm going to take a little three inch and I'm going to show you how to rig it. I'm rigging it with a 7.5 gram 2.0 mustard jig head. What we do is we just lay it next to it. First thing I want to do is just this nose part here. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a snip. So I've just taken that off. I'm laying the jig head next to it. And if you have a look over here, if I had to draw a line down, that is where I want the hook to come out. So it's just behind the paddle tail. So to rig it, straight through the center, slide it all the way down to the back. Twist him and push him. And there he is there. What's nice about it is that this little part over here gives off little these ribs over here give off a lot of vibration when the tail is actually moving like that. The very small and thin diameter tail gives off a lot of vibration and you can pull it very very fast. If you see how quickly that tail is moving I'm just vibrating it very slowly. Less wind resistance so you can throw it a lot further. It's thick on the top and very thin at the bottom. So it gives a nice big profile. So there's the jig head rigged and ready to fish. I've got an 8.0 megabyte uh, big mouth. 8.0 big mouth mustard hook. I'm rigging it with a one ounce fast touch, our worm weights. And the reason is, I'll show you now, very quick, very easy. It's got a nose piece on it, and it's got a little twill, if I can call it that, a little hook holder. So what we do, is take our hook, clip it in, and we just twist it around, and the hook is attached. And you can pull hard on this, and it does not come loose, guys. Everyone comes in here and says, ah, but it's such a thin piece of wire. This is a high density steel wire. It does not uh, pull loose, if I can call it that. Okay, to rig it, very simply.
easiest and quickest way to do it is to take the center part over here and we just cut a groove in it because we want to make this weedless. Always watch your hands when you're doing it. A sharp little standing knife or a very thin bladed knife works well. So we're going to go in there and we're just going to make an incision all the way down the stomach. Just to make sure that it's the right depth. So we'll see. Now I need to make it deeper. So we go again, we just find that hole. Carefully. There we go. Now we've made a nice incision into the belly. As you can see over there. We lay the hook next to it so we can mark where we want the hook to come out so the hook I want to come out over there I'm just going to make a little bit of a mark on the back so I'm just taking the hook here and I'm just making a little bit of an indent there as you can see because it's got a very short area on the eye of the hook I'm taking it straight through the center and I'm before the bob I'm already pulling it out Slide it all the way down, twist it, lay it next to it, as you can see there. Then I'm going to open the belly. And where the back of the hook is, is where I want to go through. And I want to go straight through it. There we go, there we go. And what I'm going to do now, to make it weedless, I'm just going to take it and just push back on the rubber the hook is totally weedless and if you look there there is the whole soft plastic rigged weedless if any sh um, cob if you're using it for bass bite down on it it comes straight through as you can see that whole hook penetrates all the way through it's very very easy just do it weedless again and put it down. Now what's nice about this rig is if there's a rock, for instance, I'm going to use that to show you. If a rock, if there's a rock, I actually can't use that. I'm going to use my hand. If there's a rock here, you're pulling a pedal towel along, it comes, the line goes over the top of the rock, hits, and it bounces upwards. The hook can't get hooked onto it at all and you're pulling it close to the bottom and the tail is moving and as you can see that is phenomenal a lot of vibration from there a lot of vibration from the tail and that at night time is phenomenal here we go guys weedless make sure to look in uh, your local tackle stores for the prorex range the dower prorex range of soft plastics it'll give you an advantage the next time you go and fish for cob bass tiger fish there we go guys you've seen the secret uv